the perfect place Kido would tell me Hey guys, so it is currently 8.30 in the morning. I did wake up earlier around six o'clock. I made my kids school lunch, I got them ready. I took them to school, stayed in those school lines. <laughs> so I just got back from dropping off my kids to school and right now I am currently warming up some coffee. So I'm warming through my coffee. I usually have the same things all the time for my hot coffee creamer flavor and sweetener. Today I'm going to be using the chocolate caramel truffle. As you can tell, I'm running low. This was this one that one was used to be like my favorite. I used to pretty much have that one all the time, so I really need to get another one. But yeah, I'm just warming up my coffee. Then um I'm going to plan out some breakfast. I'm going to have some breakfast today cuz I'm feeling hungry. Um I was I actually late I ate dinner pretty early yesterday. And then I pretty much like fasted through the night. So I'm kind of feeling a little bit hungry this morning. But for dinner, we're going to be having, today is Tuesday, we're going to be having some smothered steak with some loaded cauliflower. So right now I'm gonna um, take out some steak for dinner later. And then I don't know what I want for breakfast, but I know I want something good. <laughs> so I'm gonna figure out what to have for breakfast. But right now I'm just going to have my coffee chill out for a minute we i don't really have anything planned for today since my kids went back to school yesterday i don't know what to do with myself now <laughs> i'm like oh i have all this time now now like yesterday i was like getting stuff done around the house i kind of just need to put up some clothes you know do some stuff around the house i don't have much planned today you know later on the kids get out of school i gotta go pick them up and you know it's during the week so not much going on but we're gonna see what we're gonna get into today and i'm gonna have a full day of eating for y'all so let me just drink a little bit of coffee and wake up and then i'm gonna show y'all what i'm going to be having for breakfast all right guys so i'm going to be making some breakfast i'm going to be making me like a breakfast taco you could definitely use some low carb tortillas for this but today i'm not going to i try to cut back on low carb tortillas i try not to have too many so since i'm gonna have some low carb tortillas later on in the week for a dinner i'm not going to be having any today but you definitely can i've already lost a lot of weight and i try to meet a certain goal and low carb tortillas tend to slow down my weight loss so i try not to have too many so today i'm going to be making my tortilla out of cheese so this is what we're going to be using so for my cheese i just have some mild cheddar then i'm going to cut up a little bit of sausage literally like probably less than half a link this is just the heb mesquite premium smoked sausage then you're going to want an egg and then this is just optional. I like to put some salsa in my taco. I'm just going to be using this green salsa by Old El Paso. And then I'm going to be using very little onion. Now I'm gonna grill my onion with my sausage. Um, I had a question before, how do you fit you know, onion into your macros? I always have very little. I love onion personally. I like it grilled, um, so I fit them in my macros. Onion is okay to have in moderation you know onion didn't get me fat <laughs> so i just have them in moderation if you're someone that doesn't want to have it at all just because it is a little bit higher in carbs then you don't have to um i have them every once in a while i think it adds great flavor to everything so i'm going to use them so i'm just going to be very fitting very little into my breakfast taco so i'm just going to chop everything up and then get it started okay as you can see i chopped up like very little sausage it's not even half of link and then I chopped up very little onion. This will do for me into one taco. So we're gonna start grilling this first. I'm just melting down a little bit of butter just to grill my onions and sausage. And this is Kerrygold butter. It's a grass fed butter and it's really, really good. It has great flavor. I know um, in my video the other day, I did use a little bit of country crock. I really don't, but that's just what I had on hand. You know, I've had it every once in a while on my journey. It really doesn't do anything. It's just butter. But I highly recommend getting a good quality butter. It just makes the flavor way different and the butter is just so much better for you. So this is what I'm using today is some Kerrygold. And now I just added in my onion and sausage and you're just gonna cook through until the onion is nice and tender, how you like it. If you like it a little crunchy, just go ahead and leave it a little bit crunchy. Okay, so my sausage and my onion are pretty much cooked through. Now I'm going to scoop this out and put it into a bowl to the side. 
Okay, so the leftover butter that I did had in here, I kind of just drained it and left very little. You don't want it too greasy because the cheese is going to give off grease. So now what you're going to do to make your taco shell, you're just going to take a handful of cheese. And this is probably a half a cup to a cup. And you could use whatever cheese that you like for this. This is just what I have on hand. I like my old cheddar for like taco shells. So this is what I'm going to be using. So just like this in the pan. So I'm going to keep my heat a little bit low because I don't want it to burn. Now you're going to crack your one egg right on top. And then in order for your egg to cook through, you're going to cover it and just let the cheese and egg cook together and get the cheese nice and crispy. All right, guys, you see how my cheese got nice and crispy. Now it is going to put off grease. So when it's done, I like to just drain it a little bit on a paper towel. That's just what it does. That's what cheese is going to do. So now I'm going to add back in my onion and my sausage. After my onion and my sausage, I'm just going to be putting on the sauce. And I'm just going to be putting very little on top. Now what you want to do is just fold it. You're going to need to get a, a flatter spatula. And then you're going to fold it like a taco. And now I'm going to take it out of my pan and put it on a paper towel on a plate. Alright guys, and when you're done dabbing all the grease off, you just have yourself an easy keto breakfast taco with a cheese shell. And you could absolutely stuff any anything in here that you want that's keto approved, any kind of meats any other cheeses and it's just so so good so i'm just gonna sit down and enjoy my breakfast taco all right guys so i ate breakfast and let me tell y'all it was so so good so if y'all give those tacos a try definitely let me know down in the comments below how y'all enjoyed them i really enjoyed them they really give like that great mexican flavor every time i make them and that um h that h-e-b sausage is like really really good so if you have h-e-b near you definitely try their sausages but right now we left the house we since my older two boys are in school we still have the baby so we just wanted to get him out of the house for a little bit so we're just going um to find a park so he can just play at get some of his energy out and just you know relax a little bit so right now we're just going to be heading to a park all right guys we made it to the park the little one is taking off already Oh, he fell. <laughs> you okay? They're gonna laugh at you. Be careful. Yeah, big boy. Oh, yeah, it's for big kids. Uh -huh. You need help? Come on, let's go on this one over here. It's that big one. Yeah, that's for you. Good job, big boy. <laughs> wow. It was fun.
All right guys, so we're just leaving the park. We went for a while next to the water. It was nice. It was a fresh breeze just to get out a little bit throughout the day, especially the baby because he doesn't go to school. So then he, I don't want him cooped up at home. So just to get him out a little bit during the day is awesome. Look at this train. They have a nice train while we're leaving the park. went to another little park that my husband hadn't been to since he was like younger but as soon as we got there we looked around literally stood there like a minute and we were like no it was just ugly and just run down so we just decided to leave but now we're since on our way home we're actually going to stop by our family business and get my son a snow cone because he hasn't had one in a while and we're just gonna visit his grandparents really quick and just let him enjoy a nice snow cone on this hot day in Houston Tons of flavors, all the bad stuff I can't eat. Fruit cups, fruit buckets, cucumbers. My son's gonna get a snow cone. You ready for your snow cone, Daddy? Your snow cone? You get a SpongeBob one? If you are on keto, you can definitely have some cucumbers and some pickles. And for the snow cone, you can have like pickle juice and they also have sugar-free snow cones. Those are great on keto. Yay! Yeah. Got a snow cone, you got SpongeBob? Let me see it. Let me see your SpongeBob. Ooh, looks yummy. Okay, come on. You want a candy? Okay, hold on. Is the best dog ever. Hi, Wolfie. Hi, Wolfie. Oh, baby. We got chicken parmesan in here and ham sandwich back there. They're like best friends. Chicken parmesan. I'm getting me a chamoy snow cone layer with tahini. It's going to be so good. So I got a chamoy snow cone with pickle pieces in there and tahini. Mm. <laughs> Where are you getting now? Yeah, give me 
them some. So, yeah. No, the cherry stick. Cherry stick? There you go. There you go, Daddy. All right guys, so it's currently like around four o'clock. I did go pick up my kids from school earlier and we just got home. Throughout the day this morning, we just took my son to go to the park and then we went to like a little hole in the wall place where they have a lot of art painting and umbrellas. It's just somewhere here in Baytown and we saw a guy there dancing. He was really good. He goes there and practices every single day just to try to get noticed because he has a lot, of, there's a lot of traffic that goes through there. So that's dedication literally to be there every day just dancing and doing what he loves. So if you are into like freestyle dancing, go ahead and go check him out. I'll link his Instagram down below. But that was really nice to see. Um, and then we went to go see family. We just had, we were there for a while, just chit chatting, catching up, let my son have his snow cone. And then I did have a snow cone, um, the chamoy snow cone with just a little bit of Lucas. And it made me really full. So I kind of skipped out on lunch today. I've just had breakfast so far. And then I'm just going to have dinner. Um, right now I am going to be making my kids dinner so I can knock that out of the way. And then the keto cheesecakes that I did mention earlier today that I prepared for my husband for the week just to keep his sweet tooth in check i'm going to show y'all how i do those here in just a bit all right guys so i got nice and comfortable because when i cook i just like to change and get comfortable if not i can't get in the mood i don't know why but i already made um dinner for my kids they already sat down they're eating and enjoying their dinner so right now i'm going to start on those mini cheesecakes um i like to prep these ahead throughout the week my husband really enjoys these so i make a dozen of them and then i keep them in my fridge so whenever he craves something sweet he just goes in the fridge and eats them as simple as that and they're so good and they do not take long to make at all so i do have a video on these it's like an older video they're called keto mini cheesecakes i believe um so if you want to see that video you can go back in my videos and see that and save it if you want to make these for future reference but yeah we're just going to get started on the crust right now all right so right now i am going to be taking four tablespoons of butter and i'm going to melt it down so if you go back in my video um the recipe that i did make it uses six cupcakes so i'm doubling the ingredients so if you were to make it if you were to go back you'd be using two tablespoons but today since i'm going to want to make four um 12 i'm going to be using four tablespoons so if you cut it in half it will only make six cheesecakes so we're going to double that and make 12. so i'm just going to melt this down in my microwave real quick okay so once your butter is melted like this you're going to add your replacement of flour so I use, if you're going to make a single serving, it's just going to be one fourth cup for the six of them. But since I'm doubling, I'm going to add two one fourth cups. Just like this. Then I'm going to add two dashes of salt. I just like to use these handy dandy little things. This one says dash. <laughs> They're so cute. So I just add two dashes of salt. And then I'm going to be putting two teaspoons of our sugar replacement. And I do have my oven preheating right now at 350 degrees. And then you're just going to mix this all together until it forms like a dough. And this is going to be our crust. And then next you just want to get out a muffin tin with 12 cupcake liners. All right guys, so I have my muffin tin with my silicone liners. I absolutely love these. Nothing ever sticks to them. Everything always pops right out and they're reusable. So th these are an awesome buy. Um, so I have 12 of these already. Then what you're going to do is take your prepared crust and you're going to divide it evenly to the bottom of your cupcake liners. So just take little scoops, put it to the bottom, and then we're going to flatten it out here just a bit. Once you have your crust divided equally like this, you're just going to take your fingers and gently push down to the bottom where it's flat so it can form a nice crust. So when you're done, they should all look flat like this. And now we're going to start preparing the cheesecake mixture. So you can put this aside and then in the same bowl that we had the crust in, we're just going to start preparing the cheesecake. So into your bowl, you're going to want two 8 ounce cream cheeses and you are going to want them softened just so it's easier to mix. Now if you're only making six, you would only be using one 8 ounce. After your cream cheese, I'm just going to add two teaspoons of vanilla. Then 
Then two squirts of our liquid stevia, two large eggs, Then my husband always likes extra lemon in these, so I'm gonna use a whole lemon, but you could definitely use half. Then we're going to add a little bit more sweetener. I'm going to be adding in one fourth cup because this sweetener is pretty sweet. Then I'm going to take out my hand mixer and start blending this. Now you just want to blend everything together until it's nice, smooth, and creamy. All right, and once it looks like this, all smooth, we're just going to divide it onto our crust. Just take your crust and you're just going to, as carefully as you can, divide it equally into all 12. And I do use the whole thing. I use all of this cheesecake into these. All right, so I divided all my cheesecake batter in here. You could definitely fill them up to the rim. They will not spill over. And you just want to make sure it's nice and flat. So now we're just going to pop these in the oven to bake. I do have my oven set to 350 degrees. You want to cook these until they're browned on top and cooked through. All right, guys, so in my cheesecake video, if you go back and look, I did prepare these cheesecakes with just whipped cream and like some chopped up berries. But my husband likes these with like a jam. So right now I'm going to dice up some strawberries and then I'm gonna cook them down in some pure sugar. All right guys, and I just chopped up a couple of strawberries like this. It doesn't matter how big or small cause we're just going to chop them down anyways. I have the strawberries in a pot and I'm just gonna light it up on medium. Then when I say pure sugar, I am talking about this sugar replacement. So you don't need much. I'm just gonna pour what I have left right on top. Usually I use about one third cup or so. And then you're just going to get a spatula, mix all the sugar in, and then you're just going to start seeing this like caramelize down. And then as it's cooking and start getting softened, you're just going to start smushing it and making it to a jam. But just let it do its thing. Just let it cook down on a low heat. Okay, so while my strawberries are cooking down, my cheesecakes are in their oven, I'm gonna start preparing dinner. So we're having the steak with loaded cauliflower on the side. So right now I'm just gonna chop up my cauliflower and then put that in my Instant Pot to cook really quickly. So I chopped up my cauliflower and I did put a little bit of water in my Instant Pot bowl. You don't wanna put too much cause you don't wanna get them mushy. They're gonna go into my Instant Pot, make sure you have it on sealing. Then I like to pressure cook these for two minutes because I don't want them too soft, but I don't want them hard either. And we're not making cauliflower mash. I'm keeping them whole. So two minutes does the trick. So my strawberries are getting nice and simmered over here. As you can see, they're cooking down. So you just want to leave it alone. Just stir it every once in a while so they don't burn. So now I'm going to start preparing my steak. I'm using just this ribeye. I like ribeye, my husband likes sirloin. But I'm gonna start seasoning this and then I'm gonna set it aside and cook down some onions and some mushrooms. Okay, so I just seasoned both sides with a little bit of Uncle Chris's steak seasoning. I absolutely love this steak seasoning. Then I like rosemary on my steak, so I just put a little rosemary and then some salt and pepper on both sides. So now I'm gonna start chopping up some onion and then I already have some chopped up mushrooms. I didn't forget about my strawberries. They are cooking down over here. So as they cook down, I kind of just smush them down to make a jam. And it's so good, I promise. You could definitely do this with blueberries as well, red raspberries, blackberries, any berry that you like for on top of those cheesecakes. Okay guys, so I chopped up some onions and then I have some washed mushrooms right here. Now I'm just going to start sauteing these in some butter and garlic. Before the onions and mushroom, my jam is done cooking. So I just smush it down a little bit more. I like to leave it a little bit chunky. Then you're just gonna turn off the heat and let it cool down to the side. I haven't forgot about my cheesecakes. They're not done cooking yet. They do take about 25 minutes or so, but they're looking nice. All right guys, so into another pot, I'm going to be adding a tablespoon of butter, letting that melt down. Then I'm going to add a tablespoon of some minced garlic. Once your garlic cooks down a little bit, I'm gonna add my onions and mushrooms. I added my onions and mushrooms. Now you're just going to let this cook down and caramelize. Cheesecakes just came out the oven. You can see how they're nice and brown on top and they are cooked through. I just let these cool down before I top them and put them in the fridge. 
So I did strain my cauliflower and I dumped it into a baking dish and I seasoned it with salt and pepper. And then I put a little bit of this toasted onion and garlic potato McCormick seasoning, mixed it all in. Now I'm just going to top it with cheese. I like to prepare this like a big potato. So I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna top it with mild cheddar cheese and then I'm gonna pop it in the oven to melt it. Adding the cauliflower to the oven till the cheese is nice and melted. And I am still working on my mushrooms and onions right here. Letting that get nice and caramelized. Now for the steak, whip out your cast iron. I'm gonna melt down some butter. Now, I'm not an expert at cooking steak. I kind of like my medium rare, so I just do it until I think it's good. <laughs> I need to get better at cooking steak. If y'all have any tips, let me know. All right, and I'm just gonna put in my steak and let this cook. Okay, so my mushrooms and my onions are nice and caramelized. Now I'm going to be making a cream sauce with it for on top of my steak. So I'm gonna add a little bit of heavy whipping cream to this. Then you're just going to let it thicken up and it's just gonna be a nice creamy sauce for on top of your steak. And as for my cheesecakes, I did just top it with our strawberry jam. Now I just pop them in the fridge. I put them in a container and they're ready for throughout the week for my husband and me whenever we crave something sweet. They're so simple and I promise you they're so, so good. So it's a great prep, it's a great prep ahead dessert. So my cauliflower is done baking. Now I'm just going to top them with these baking bits. And then when I serve it, I'm going to be putting some sour cream on top and some green onion. All right guys, so I finished cooking my steak and now I'm just going to let it rest and I'm going to start serving up these cauliflower potatoes and start topping them. All right guys, and this is dinner. I thought I had green onions, I guess not. Usually I would add green onions on this, but I just added some sour cream. Then we have our caramelized onions and mushrooms on top of our steak. And then I'm just going to be having a side of my Lipton Diet Green Tea that I loved in the mixed berry. Then if you're somebody that has to have like a steak sauce like me, I found this prim Primal Kitchen Steak Sauce, sugar-free, organic. I haven't gave it a try yet, so if y'all wanna know how that tasted, comment down below and I'll definitely let y'all know if I liked it or not. But yeah, this is dinner. Now I'm just going to sit down and enjoy. All right guys, so I ate dinner earlier. It was so, so, so good. I am stuffed. Um, and then after that, I updated my calendar with all the names for the check-ins that I do every day for the 90-day challenge. Y'all are doing so amazing that everybody has been sticking with it um, for the 90-day challenge. Y'all are doing awesome. Tomorrow is two weeks of no cheats. So I'm very, very proud of everybody for sticking with this challenge. Y'all are doing so, so, so good. I'm proud of everybody. But yeah, I did that and then I took my boys a shower. They're laying down already, getting ready for bed because they have school tomorrow again. So right now I'm outside. My dogs are going to the restroom. Um, I know a lot of y'all were like, wanting to know about my dogs or how many dogs i have so i'm going to introduce y'all to my dogs just here in a bit after they're done using the restroom i'm going inside and tell y'all a little bit about my dogs all right guys so starting with the otis this is bella she is a chihuahua she is about 11 years old i believe um we've had my husband actually had her before we got together but now she's my baby she's the princess she's probably the most spoiled one i know um but she may look nice but she is mean <laughs> not to us but she is she's just a feisty little chihuahua but this is bella um y'all may see her a lot she's very very loved i mean we love all our dogs but she's the most spoiled i guess because she's the littlest and we've just had her a really long time and ray my husband is like this is like his child like for real he spoils her to death like and she's it's just so funny like she's funny she has her own personality she's very jealous of me like she loves me but if i go kiss my husband or like if i go love on him she's right there she runs and she's looking at me like this is my man i'm like this is my man <laughs> we are always arguing but she she loves she loves me she so this is bella our little chihuahua the little princess 
<laughs> okay, and the next one is Saki. This is Bella's brother. So Bella was the run out of the pack, so that's why she looks different. My husband had him, of course, the same amount that he's had Bella, so he had him before we got together. He's exactly the same age as Bella. He's a chunky little monkey, but he's the old man. He's the only boy that we have out of all our dogs, and he is just a lazy fat chihuahua <laughs> he really doesn't do much he's probably the calmest out of all our dogs um he used to be all black so that's why his name was Saki he used to be all black and just his little feet were white but now he's old so he's looking a little wider every day he just looks a little bit more wider Bella doesn't look as old because of her color but you can definitely tell their age just from looking at him but yes this is our little old man Saki then the next one I had got is Linky. She is our dachshund. And she is the pain in the butt. Let me just put it that way. She is a rebel. But she's the most fun. She is very playful. She loves to jump on trampoline. She loves to play with the kids. But she does not listen. She is a rebel. She just wants to eat all day. She wants to be in our business. She follows us everywhere, which is not a bad thing. But if you tell her to go lay down, she'll just look at you like, I'm not going to lay down. If you tell her not to be chewing up stuff, she's going to look at you like, I'm going to chew it up. So she is definitely the rebel out of all our dogs, but she's the most fun. But this is Linky. Say hey, Linky. Say hey. She looks like a little Tootsie Row. She's definitely definitely on the chunky side very happy <laughs> and she i don't know she's just solid and you're gonna see our other weenie dog um so they're basically sisters but from a different litter so that's why they look different she does have like a little kink in her tail if y'all have seen that before she does have that but she is very 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 playful and she's probably the funnest dog out of all of them and our next dachshund is jinky this dog actually belonged to my husband's mother at first but his mom was very busy with all her businesses and everything going on in her life so we took her in um we all lived in like the same house unit at first so she was always just right there but we took her in um she is linky's i guess sister but from a different litter and she is very beautiful her color she's very very long compared to linky linky's very short and chunky and she's very lanky so i have to be very careful with her i can't let her jump on anything um because she will hurt herself she's had back surgery before so i have to keep her tamed which pretty much for the most part she is she's very calm she likes to keep to herself every once in a while she'll come and want to cuddle with us all the time but she is so pretty like she's probably the prettiest i think out of all our dogs just because of her color and then her eyes match her color and she's just she's just so pretty very pretty but she's a very good dog so this is jinky say hi jinky oh, my baby and last but not least, this is Shady. This is the baby out of everybody, but oh my God, she is, you should have seen me trying to grab her right now. She is so hyper, but she wants attention 24 seven. If you do not give her attention, she's gonna be like in your face all the time. She licks weird. We don't let her lick us. I don't know why. So Shady, we actually adopted her. So before Shady, I had a pug. Um, if y'all see my tattoo on my arm, I had a pug. I had her for several months, but sadly she got sick. She got fluid in her brain and we couldn't save her. So as we couldn't save her, she passed away. So we went to save Shady because Shady was going to be put down soon. So I wanted to save her. Um, so we've had Shady a couple years. She's a puppy. She I don't exactly know how old she is, but I know she's young. Um, so she's probably the youngest out of all our dogs, but she's so pretty. She's a miniature pincher. Um, and she's really cute. She's just very obnoxious. Like she always wants to be in our face. Like she has no personal space. So like if you're laying with her like this, she can't just lay there. She has to be like in your face. <laughs> but she's so good. She's so playful and very well behaved. Like she probably listens the, um, the best out of all the dogs. But this is Shady. And her name is Shady because they did find her on Shady Street. Um, when they took her to the pound and I kind of just left her name like that because I think it goes with her pretty well But yeah, this is our last dog. We do have five dogs, but I promise you they're all little They add up to one big dog <laughs> I can't even sometimes I forget we have five dogs because honestly they all mind their business. They all stay They all stay where they want to stay in their beds and 
they're just all really good dogs so those were all our dogs that we have and we do also have one hamster maybe i can show you all my hamster right now i don't know maybe she's asleep let me go check all right guys and our last animal that we do have this is tater tot she is a little hamster um i originally got her for my middle son for his birthday because he was watching like youtube videos at one point and he kept seeing hamsters i guess like they do those crazy little mazes and he really wanted one for his birthday so i got her for him but i took over because <laughs> she's just so cute so i take care of her and she's just a little bella loves her our first chihuahua she absolutely adores her she always like is very curious about her and wants to play with her but i don't really introduce her to the other dogs because i feel like they would probably eat her so i get really nervous so i keep her away from all the other dogs but yes this is tater tot our last animal so we have five dogs and one hamster and we love animals my husband is the biggest animal lover so if we could have more dogs he probably would <laughs> but for now we know we have our five dogs but yeah say bye what are you doing what obsessed dead <laughs> she died all that playing for what He's playing, what is it? Call of Duty? Right? What? Call of Duty, right? Yeah. I was playing all the time, but i kind of been slacking. I've just been so tired, so I haven't got to play lately. So I don't know if y'all like really looked at our computer room, but my husband decked it out with like our screens, and this is like a soundproof wall thing. And he has all these lights, our TV for gaming, and whatever else we want to do. And then that's the 90 day challenge chart that we have in here, our couch. But over here we have all my compute, all my camera stuff, all organized right here. And then this, I wanted to show y'all, look how cool this is. So my husband made this and it's just like a sound cloud or like a cloud. So it kind of goes with like any music that we're playing. It'll like change colors and like it'll look like it's like lightning with the music. So it's really cool. Um, but inside is like containers, like empty chicharron containers. And then around it, he put all that fluff and also inside he put lights. And he was just like really proud of it and he hung it. But I thought it was super cool that he did it. It looks awesome. And so it kind of goes... So we usually have lights um, lights on the ceilings, like stars, so it all goes together with that. And it looks really cool when it's on. But yeah, this is the computer room that we're always in. And I just wanted to show y'all the night. I hadn't showed it yet. I am so sorry, but I had something in my hand earlier and I got a smudge on it. But this is the 90 day true to yourself. It was a burger grease. No, it wasn't. It was it my was stick. I think I had grease. the A1 stick sauce on my side of my hand when I was marking off, but I freaking got some on there, but I'm so sorry. But this is the true to yourself 90 day keto challenge, and these are all our people that are keeping on track. So all of you are on there, and I'm so proud of you. I've already marked off the 12th day. Today's the 13th day, so I have to go through and mark on there. But we are almost to two weeks and I promise y'all 90 days are going to fly by because these two weeks already flew by. But I'm so proud of everybody. All right, guys. So I think I'm going to end the night already. So my last meal of the day, actually, I'm going to have two chocolate chip keto pumpkin cookies that I made yesterday in yesterday's video. They were so good. So I'm actually going to shower and then um, have two of those cookies with some unsweetened almond milk. And that will be my last meal of the day. I always... I tend to have something sweet at night every once in a while and since I made those yesterday I can't stop thinking about them because they were so good so I'm gonna have two cookies but I'm going to be ending my night I'm going to shower and head to bed it has been a long day especially running around with the kids picking them up from school cooking it's this is weekly for me so I get very tired at the end of the week I'm like done but I hope y'all enjoy today's what I eat in a day if you do enjoy these videos please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel for awesome keto recipes and I will see you in my next video